When roads suddenly become raging rivers during the monsoon, it's scary and potentially life-threatening for drivers. In Corona de Tucson, raging waters from recent rains have enraged residents who say nothing is being done to fix their roads, eliminating that danger. The News 4 Tucson investigators heard complaints from Corona de Tucson residents during a big storm that hit last week. Here's News 4 Tucson investigator Tom McNamara. They say the flooding from that storm made traveling very treacherous. They say it doesn't have to be this way, but the danger is there, they say, because the county doesn't care. This is ridiculous. For residents like Dan Wise, long lines snaking down a soaked Sawarita road are nothing new. The Pima County Sheriff's Department closes the road four or five times each year when flooding makes it impassable. I'm very frustrated. I'd like to know what my tax dollars are spent on because it sure ain't on this road. Not on the part of it we need. Wise isn't alone. Corona Day Tucson residents sat steaming and soaking for hours, waiting to move just a few miles to get home. And they say over the years the situation has only gotten worse. The water's getting funneled right through our area, and we spend quite a number of storms sitting on the side of the road like this. But when residents take their concerns about the flooding to Pima County officials, they basically tell me that I'm crazy and that doesn't happen. They won't listen to us. The problem isn't just along Sawarita Road. Houghton, just south of I-10, also turns into a virtual river during downpours. Once again, residents tell the News 4 Tucson investigators the county hasn't done anything to help solve the problem. Not at all. Not, not where I live anyways. There's a lot more people living out here now, and they don't do anything to provide for the increased traffic flow. We heard from other residents who get stuck out here whenever Sawarita Road floods, and they say they've gotten absolutely no satisfaction out of the county. So the News 4 Tucson investigators took this matter to the top. And we asked Pima County's Director of Transportation, Priscilla Cornelio, about the situation in Corona de Tucson. We do have a problem there. I mean, this needs to be improved at some point in time once we have funding availability. But Cornelio says, as with most major roadway projects, it all comes down to lack of taxpayer dollars. Right now, we don't have the money to make the ba major construction projects that we need to do. Cornelio points to the recent completion of the bridge over the CDO wash on La Choya as one example of a project that helped to put the brakes on road closures during monsoon storms. And there are plans to widen Houghton Road, but that might not happen for decades. We hope to get money some point in time to start to address Sarita, but nothing right now. The News 4 Tucson investigators discovered by Pima County's own admission, the area of Sawarita Road in question is considered to be in poor condition. We wanted to know exactly how much would it cost for Pima County to improve Sawarita Road so that residents wouldn't have to deal with the headaches during monsoon storms. The CDO up at um, La Choya was like a $20 million project. So I got to say the same is going to be down there. And, um, you know, and the length of Sawarita and the sections of Houghton, both of them are very lengthy. And so it'd be much, much more. So millions of dollars. So now when it comes to that flooding, residents of Corona Day Tucson could be in for a lot of endless summers over the years to come. And by the way, the roads in that area are part of a long-term RTA improvement plan, still years away. And if you have something you'd like the News 4 Tucson investigators to check out, send us an email, investigators at kvoa.com, or call the tip line 955-4444. Tom McNamara, News 4 Tucson.